Hey guys, it's Skulker3, and welcome to, I almost said part one of Let's Play Tadpole Travel, but that's a lie, because this isn't a Let's Play. This is, as I've done with all the other trad Tadpole Tadpole, I can speak, don't worry. As with all the other Tadpole Travel videos, this is more just sort of showing off the game, because the game has now officially been released on Steam, um, and there'll be a link in the description, so you are, uh, I'm pretty sure that obligates you to go and buy it. I mean, I want to... Um, actually, no, I'm not even unsure about that. You must go and buy this game. I demand it. I will be furious if you don't. And you don't want to invoke my wrath. I'm just saying. Just saying, guys. But the important thing is, uh, since I've done a video for it when it was in Kickstarter and I did sort of the during production demo of it, I thought I'd show you guys how it looks in its finished form. Uh, go over a little bit of talking of what I've seen of the game so far, what I've enjoyed. I would say what I haven't enjoyed, but I can't say there's really been much of any of that. It's just been such a fun game. Um, so let's get started with it. Uh, I am Patario, because why the hell not? Um, so for this video I'm going to do one... Um, I'm going to play two levels. One I'm going to talk over and give my thoughts on the game that I've seen so far. Um, Let's go with Chiptune Lagoon, because that was in the demo. Um, and then I'm going to show what is currently my favourite level, without me talking over it, so that you guys can get a better idea of, like, when you play it, that's how it'll be. Because you presumably won't have some British arsehole just wittering in your ear the entire time. Uh, I mean, you might. I don't know how you guys play games. But in any case, let's get this on. Oh yeah, I'll put up an annotation if people want to skip to the bit where I'm not talking, uh, just to get a good idea. Um, so Chip Tune Lagoon was in the demo, and you can see the... <laughs> this might have been an odd one to start with, because it doesn't show how much the graphics have improved, because it's all... I mean, it still looks very nice, but it's also all sort of 8-bit, because that's the theme of this uh, area, Chip Tune Lagoon. It kind of makes sense. Um, so, in each level, I'm going to try and keep my head clear with this, which is going to be difficult, because focusing on rhythm and talking at the same time as I've learned much in my time as a Let's Player, is goddamn difficult. But, the point is that, uh... Nope, it's gone again. See, I told you. Okay. In each level, there are 100 bubbles to collect. Those are the purple things I just picked up. Uh, there's health power-ups as well, which are the other pink things that you can pick up. Um, the controls are very simple, just up and down, and then either spacebar to attack with your tail, or um, left and right to attack with the tail. I think since the, even the original version, the controls haven't changed much. Although there is a new function, as you can see there is a little bar at the top next to the life bar saying treble charge. And I will show that off shortly. If you press and hold the attack button, then you can ram through the obstacles instead of having to dodge them and you'll get an extra point for it, rather than just missing it. Uh, however, you've got to be careful that you don't run out of steam. Um, you get a little bit of invincibility after it runs out, uh, but you have to just be a bit careful. Oh man, I hit the duck. I didn't even know you could do that. That's a little violent. Um, yeah, so this game, there's 100... Okay. I am just so distracted by the rhythm game happening in front of me at the same time. Um, so at the end of each level, you get ranked. Um, S rank being the best, F rank being the worst, and I'll go into more detail with that in a second. Um, but yes, each level there are five medals. Uh, whoops. Oh, I guess I don't need to go through the pipe, which is good, but I'm missing all the symbols up there, so my score is going to suffer for that. As it is with me just ramming my face into all the obstacles because I'm not paying attention because I'm trying to focus. Ah! Okay. Point being, there's five medals. Um, one for getting all 100 of the bubbles. One for clearing the level. One for satisfying the condition of the challenge flies which are, in each level, there's a little challenge to do, such as hit all of the bamboo poles, or, I guess, things like don't take any damage, or activate all of the symbols. Um, the symbols being these round yellow things, not uh, C-Y-M-B-A-L-S, not S-Y-M-B-O-L-S. Uh, see, I, I, yeah, I, I think a C rank is pretty fair. This game is hard. It's really cute, but it's not easy. Um... But yes, yeah, so there's 
one for getting an S rank, one for getting 100 bubbles, one for getting the level cleared. So, so far I've only cleared this level, that's the only medal I've got. And the challenge fly, uh, it says join in the beat. I don't really know what that means, but I guess once I've done to do the challenge, at the end of the level it'll say, you've got the challenge fly, or something along those lines. Um, bubbles and challenge flies can be used uh, here at the Bullfrog Grove, uh, which I might as well show off a little bit of. Um, so the more bubbles you get, I technically did, although I don't think I've brought any new bubbles since last time. Uh, you can swap bubbles, or the more bubbles you get, the more prizes you get. Um, they're kind of like... Um, I had an analogy, but it's gone, so... In any case, you don't technically spend the bubbles, you just collect them, and then when you get enough, then you unlock new things, such as uh, pages of other characters in the games from the bestiary, there's the music player, which lets you, weirdly enough, listen to music. Um, you get the music from each level by getting an S rank in it. Um, I didn't actually say what the final medal was, did I? The final medal is for getting an F rank, which you might think... Well, that doesn't sound difficult, just ram your face into everything. No, because if you ram into your face into everything, you die. And that means you have to start the level over again, you don't get ranked on it. You also, you just have to make sure you get through the level scoring as few points as you can. And I've tried it. I can't get worse than a D. Which, this is just such a clever idea. It's like the hardest bit of the game is doing badly and I mean, that kind of sounds like, um, like if I was a really sarcastic internet critic, for example, I might say, oh yes, the hardest thing of this game is get doing badly at it, it holds your hand so much. It, that's really not the case, this game is actually kind of difficult. Um, I'm actually stuck at the moment on a level called Piranha Jungle. Um, is the screen zooming in? I've been looking away and, um, <laughs> why is the screen zooming in? Okay, I didn't know this was a thing that happened, but I'm glad it is. Uh, <laughs> sorry. Um, I've lost my train of thought now because of the goddamn zooming in. Um, I was talking about F ranks, I think. Oh yeah, no, um, I'm stuck on a level called Piranha Jungle. So this game, despite how cute and it's like quite accessible overall, but it's not easy. You're not going to feel unchallenged by this game. Um, it's also very funny, as you can see. Just l l at this very scene, just why is this a part of the game? I don't know, but I'm glad it is. Um, and the next level I'm going to show you will also show off the game being funny and goofy and silly and very goddamn cute. I need to stop saying goddamn, but I'm saying it anyway. Uh, but... I think I had another point, but it's gone for now, so... I... W <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't get over the... Um, just the zooming in that was happening there. Is it happening here as well? Probably, I don't really care. Um, I'm gonna see if I can show off another... Show off what is possibly my favourite thing about this game so far. But if not, I'll just show Midnight Bayou here. Um, because this is another thing that I could say if I was a super sarcastic internet critic, is that my favourite thing so far might have been the pause menu. Ah, oh, it doesn't look like it's working this time. There is an alternate pause menu song, and I don't know how you make it happen. Like, I've tried to, like, listen to it each time, and like, I got it once, completely by accident, like, um, my mum came into the room to tell me something, uh, so I had paused the game and then the alternate music was playing, and it's a delight. But I can't get it to work. So maybe you should go buy the game and see if you can get it to work, because you will not be disappointed. The alternate pause menu song is just wonderful. In any case, this is the level that I'm gonna play without any commentary. So please just enjoy Midnight Bio. Midnight rendezvous You seem lost But don't worry Cause I just might Know the way through I'll swim beside you And happily guide you And never deride you, dear I'll be your own ranger Protect 
protect you from danger Like blood-sucking strangers here We should go dancing Once we grow our own two legs Here I say you're entrancing And I'm not a fellow To think only of us two I sing through a sore throat And with a few of throat This is my love note For you My youths are so lovely My youths are so beautiful My youths are the girl of my dreams Whoops! Heart on my own tall tree But I hope and pray My youths feel the same way about me you could stay here forever And I'd treat you like a queen Beans and rice, flies and plankton Could use some modesty Yes, we'll just have to be friends Please stay out of trouble Keep grabbing those bubbles I hope I'll see you again And if you should get bored Then buy for a high score I'll swim by you And it is by you And I'll share it through you I'll sing it bold and true We'll freeze my love now What a nerd. Yay! Um, <laughs> so, the little jingle at the end that plays there is more elaborate and more intricate the better you do. And I really wish I could get an F rank, because I've heard I've heard them all. Like, there was a separate video, which I'll probably link in the description, um, of all the little jingles. And the F rank one is just amazing. There's so much in this game that's just so silly, but so charming and so fun. Although I will say, I'm a little disappointed that, um, in the in this menu that we're looking at right here, um, in the in the previous versions, it was a sort of a mm, a filler piece, a sort of sample of music, um, which was sort of a bit more cheery, upbeat, and there's just this one bit where it goes, huh. and it seems that it's not in this one, um, which I mean works, because this is kind of... the music is still really nice for this bit, but just wish it had that, you know? I mean, maybe it does, I haven't listened to the whole thing yet, but, um, <laughs> in any case, um, this has been my video about Tadpole Trouble. There's also, I don't think I've mentioned this yet, oh. <laughs> oh, they put it in! Okay, nope, <laughs> my objection's gone then, this game is brilliant. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> anyway, there's a there's also a composition mode. Uh, actually, I'll show that off. Um, composition mode. I'm not going to go into very much detail with this, but if you liked the com composer thing in Mario Paint, for example, um, yada yada, don't steal music. Um, if you like that composer, then this is basically that. So uh, you can get you've got um, baton just swimming along here. That's a very easy level, um, and then you move. You put in obstacles, so that will be a C, and then an A, and then a C again, and then another, and then a G. Why not? Let's go wild. And then you can put a piano one in, and these will all form obstacles. And then you go, and it plays the level music. 
There you go. And we did it. We got all the... You get an S rank. Good job. It's my favorite song. Best song in the game is... Fucking... You can also change the tempo. Oh, but we have to set her position back to the start first. And you can just... You know, you can recreate songs from video games. You can compose your own songs. You can recreate songs from other media. But let's face it. It's probably going to be mostly video game things. Um, in production, they released a sort of bare bones version of this. The number of times there were Undertale remixes. <laughs> I mean, I'm not, I'm not knocking it. It's, Undertale has really good music, but let's face it, that's what this composition mode is going to be a lot of. And I look forward to it. I think it's going to be cool because then it's like it's not only people sharing their music that they made in this. It's a playable level. So yeah, you can. There's going to be a link in the description to the Steam page for this. I. Really recommend you buy this game. It's on, it's really cheap. It's twenty percent off at the moment because it's in, like it's just been released. Um, so I would recommend it. It's also if you're not a Steam fan, it's also coming to Wii U. I don't know when, sometime in our lives, but yeah, just go and do it. I wanted. What does this one sound like? What do you sound like, fella? I mean, I guess that that seems fair. That's that's not a very pleasant sound, but I'm sure it'll work for percussion or something. I don't know. In any case, I've given you a look of what this game is. If you think it looks good and interesting and fun, then go and buy it and play it. If you don't, then I am disappointed. I don't even care what you think. I'm just disappointed in you. You go and you think about what you have said today. In any case, guys... I'm going to end this here, so thank you very much for watching, and I will see you sometime soon for another video. Who even knows when? If I can get the pause menu thing to work, I'll put that at the end of the video, but otherwise, I'm going to end it here. Bye!